We all want to appear like we have our lives together. As entrepreneurs, we want our investors, employees, and customers to believe that we have our business under control. We can handle whatever comes our way. We'll take care of everything. And we end up exhausted. This insecurity with our imperfections leads us to put up a front. We try to control the way others perceive us, which is just a disaster in the making. Eventually, all we're left with is a false and flimsy veneer built up on the outside. People have no concept of who we are really on the inside. Our cares, concerns, hopes, and dreams. We soon become a walking shell of a human with paper-thin personalities that we've carefully constructed to keep the world at arm's length. This month, we're looking beyond the surface to talk about another mark of a faith-driven entrepreneur, ministry and word. What does it look like for us to lead with a limp? The truth is we can't do it all by ourselves. And even if we could, it's not about us anyway. God wants our honest hearts, not the facades we put up for others or the social media worthy version of ourselves we curate online. But to give Him our whole selves requires everything. We cannot hold anything back from God or the people we love and trust. Sometimes that leads us to even being vulnerable. What does it look like to be real with your customers, with your employees? What does it take for us to really get to know them and in turn, for them to know the real you, even the not so flattering stuff? As Christ following entrepreneurs, we must realize that our own brokenness can break down barriers. Sharing the reason for the hope that we have with truth and vulnerability allows the gospel to shine through. Our imperfections no longer serve as a filter they instead amplify the perfect love of Jesus. McCoy's building supply has been leading like this for generations. As a full service lumberyard operation in five states, they work hard to make the lives of those who build easier and more fulfilling. And they do it by embracing their own imperfections and celebrating the humanity of others. Let's watch. We're in a very hardworking, roll up your sleeves, solve your problem creatively kind of work. It is not a population maybe you naturally think about being really in touch with their feelings or relational, emotional needs. But it doesn't matter how macho you are, it feels good to be known. Te voy a ser bien sincero, yo he tratado con negocios quizá más grandes en volumen, pero no saben quién eres tú. The day in the life of commercial sales is um, pretty busy. <laughs> taking care of the customer, taking care of people. We are relational, emotional people, and God in his very nature is relational. For McCoys, that means that we are motivated to care about the people that we encounter in the course of our business and to help our customers feel less alone in their work. Mi nombre es Isaiah Galán y el nombre de mi compañía es Galán Custom Homes. Hace aproximadamente unos 15 años me independicé Soy padre de cuatro hijas y eso hacía más difícil la decisión de independizarme. Pero el aliado, el amigo más cercano del fracaso se llama miedo. Y tuve que vencer el miedo, tuve que vencer el temor y salir adelante. There's so much stress in running your own business. And so they're relying on us to be really, really good at what we do. So we have great value, we have great service. And if our ability to do our jobs really excellent can shave off some of the risk that a builder feels, that's very motivating. You know, it's kind of contagious, like, oh, I've really added value to your work. My granddad started our business in Galveston, Texas in 1927 as McCord Reaping Company. 
My father took over the business, and uh, by golly, that business started growing incrementally. And he grew that business along with his sons to over 100 stores. A lot of entrepreneurs want to create a new business, blow it up, and sell it out. And uh, of course, being a family business that's in our ninth decade, uh, that is not our perspective. I don't know a way to explain the draw to the business other than you're drawn to certain things that get your heart pumping faster, that get you more excited, that you feel like, man, this is, this is what I feel like I was made to do. And for dad, that was McCoy's. And from the time I was really little, that was McCoy's for me too. We say our purpose at McCoy's and we're at our best is to make life easier and more fulfilling for those who build. That sounds maybe kind of simple or corny, but making life simple relates to our operations, delivering the promise to our customers, and making life more fulfilling for a customer relates to the fact that they are people, they are not dollar signs, they are important, and we want to serve them and we want to serve them well. I think the biggest thing is to put yourself in their shoes. Thank you. It could be as minor as, how do I fix the water hose that I ran over? It could be as major as, we sent the wrong boards, how are we gonna fix that? You have to understand what customers' problems are and solve them, and sometimes solve them even before they knew they had a problem. You have to make life easier. But make life more fulfilling is, have you encountered someone at McCoy's and been more known than before? And so we have to have enough room in our schedule and we have to create enough room on our expectations of our team as a company that say, look, you don't have to do things perfectly, but we want to care about not just the work and your productivity, so to speak. We want to care about how deeply you connect to your customers. I mean, we spend like hours and hours every year and a lot of money training people to be equipped as a team, to listen well, to care well. I'm not sure they would say it, but I think in that way, our teams are very much counselors and advisors and comforters. When I start my day, I go out there and I'm looking for friendships. I'm looking for long-term friendships and make that connection. They can't get that at the big boxes. We're not always the cheapest, but us knowing their name, us knowing their kids' names, that's why they come here. That, that's what helps us maintain who we are and what we are. If I really say we're here for something bigger than just the work, we're here for reflecting God's goodness and relationship with each other, then it's not just that you walked into a lumberyard, it's that you know that you have trust and community with people there. Creo que fue aproximadamente hace unos 12 años cuando traje mi primer plano a la tienda McCoy's. Yo consideré que me estaban dando la atención de un amigo Y en el caso muy personal, yo siento una afinidad con el vendedor que me han asignado y tenemos una confianza y, y una amistad eh, bastante cercana, muy afín. Eh, te voy a decir algo, pa para mí, yo no siento que McCoy's me ve como un cliente. Para mí me ve como un amigo, como como un hermano, como un miembro de la familia. Entonces, eso te atrapa, eso te, te trae. We are designed to need food and water and shelter, plus security and respect and comfort and appreciation. And the closest thing to experience God for me on earth is through relationship. That deep knowing, feeling, caring for, I think that is like the core of eternity. As we 
reflect on this story from McCoy's, something that cuts against the grain is how important it is for them to be in a relationship with their employees and their customers. This is incredibly important for you and me as well. Genuine, authentic friendships are foundational to our ministry in word. Without it, we haven't earned the trust and respect to share the love of Christ with them. First Peter 3.15 has this to say, but in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. We tend to focus exclusively on the part about always being prepared to give an answer, but sometimes we forget about the last part of this verse. Do this with gentleness and respect. This is key. I love the quote from the film, the closest thing for me to experience God on earth is through relationship. When we are face to face with one another, we are face to face with our heavenly Father. This divine interaction is possible only through respect. And respect is born through relationship, so we build off of that. And while we are called to give an answer for our hope, in turn, and part of building a strong relationship of trust and mutual respect, is to listen to others. Not listening simply to respond, but listening to learn. Actually hearing what they have to say and humbling ourselves to the very real possibility that we have just as much to learn from someone else as they do from us. Another consideration from this story is that McCoy's inherently understands that entrepreneurship can be a lonely journey. And many of the customers these faith-driven entrepreneurs serve are also entrepreneurs. They want to love on them in that journey. So I wanna leave you with this quote from the film. Reflecting God's goodness is relationship with each other. How does that look like for you, for your company, and for the interactions you have today? Well, thanks for watching and listening. Now spend some time in your group talking about this session and how it relates to the journey you're on. Open yourselves up to learning from one another. And I always encourage you to be open and honest with each other. What you get out of this time together will only be as rich and edifying as what you put into it. Blessings on your time, and we'll see you next session.